Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to our fourth installment of Sundays in the Studio at Home with the Art Gallery of Windsor. My name is Villa Varga and today we'll dive into the Italian Renaissance and the genius of Leonardo da Vinci. Last week we made our own stained glass window decorations and it was really this innovation that helped create this Renaissance man. The creation of glass gave us windows, but as our tools advanced, it allows us to file and shape this glass to create lenses, the basis for inventions we still use today, like telescopes and this camera. Although they were very simple at the time, these inventions allowed artists like Leonardo to explore different facets of the world, like math and science, both huge interests of his. His sketchbooks were filled with schematics and plans for all sorts of creations that wouldn't be imagined for hundreds of years after his time. Today, we're going to channel the artist in a very simple form by recreating a da Vinci-esque drawing. All you're going to need is a sketchbook, some drawing paper, a pencil or mark making material, and an object you can disassemble. We're going to begin by examining individual pieces of the mechanism. Uh, I have an old razor or an old shaver um, that doesn't work anymore. So we can try and recreate this on in our journal. Um, don't focus on trying to be too accurate. Um, have as much fun as you can in this activity. We can play with scale or size. Um, the really interesting thing is that we can focus on textures too. We can amplify these as large as we want. If it's a schematic, it's meant to give us information. Um, so let's get started. Let's find an interesting position. Now, the interesting thing, too, about Leonardo da Vinci was he was kind of cryptic. Uh, his sketchbooks, he carried them with himself all the time. Multiple ones that he would work in day in, day out. And he used a technique using mirrors, which was another invention of his time, where he would write backwards into them to create almost like a secret a secret language. So if his notebooks were ever found, it couldn't have been deciphered. His inventions couldn't have gotten stolen. There you go, you can really get a sense of scale from that, of how big and large we can actually make these objects, or how small we can make these objects as well, if we really wanted to. Go ahead and throw some color in there. Using a bright color like red, we're really going to activate um, the drawing. It's going to impart some, some movement or some energy in there. She was sure ahead of his time, designing and making plans for things like flying machines, parachutes, even a diving suit. It was these advances in technology that propelled art and aspiring artists through the Renaissance and into other periods like Impressionism, Fauvism. As paint became more readily available, artists were um, a little bit more free to break the rules and experiment, leading the way for many modern artists we recognize today like Van Gogh, Picasso, Miro. Thank you for joining me today in our second last installment of this series of Sundays in the Studio at Home with me, Bela. 
Join us next week where we'll create our very own piece of modern art with just a few simple materials you might already have laying around your house. <laughs>